Hey everyone, welcome back to the Pepley Ranch. I hope you guys have been enjoying the content we've been putting out. Uh, I know one specifically it's done really well is the, the temporary home theater setup that we have. We did a video on that and uh, it's gotten a lot, gotten a lot of, of views and likes. Uh, so thank you for watching that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, so with that, I was hoping to do um, several more home theater related videos and content for you guys. Uh, it's showing some more details on the setup we have, some tips and tricks, uh, troubleshooting uh, ideas, and, uh, and then go through some calibration techniques and, and um, processes for calibrating projectors and uh, the audio setup as well. So uh, with that today, uh, we're going to be looking at uh, something that has been uh, mentioned several times in some of the home theater groups that I'm in. Uh, it's how to hook up an audio video receiver that's nine channels uh, to uh, another receiver to get a full 11 channel uh, setup to run that 7.2.4 uh, Atmos setup that um, most people are after. So with that, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and take this screen down and uh, jump into the details of, of how to do that. All right, so we've got the screen down and you can see the uh, two receivers that we have in place here, the, the two Denon receivers. Uh, I added this one just for the purposes of this video. We're actually not running 11 channels right now uh, in our temporary setup, but we had in the past um, at our last house. And like I was saying in the last video, we'll re-implement this setup uh, once we get the addition built in and can go uh, with the dedicated uh, theater room. Uh, but for right now, we added this so that we could show you guys how to do this in this video. Uh, this is a Denon S720. Uh, receiver and it's just a 7.2 channel uh, receiver. Uh, this is the, uh, the the larger X4300H receiver that is a, a 9.2 channel receiver but it's um, it's actually capable of 11.2 channel processing so that you can get that full 7.2.4 uh, Atmos setup that, that most people are after. Uh, so this is similar uh, to a lot of nine channel receivers. Uh, a lot of them have the same capability there's um, Pioneer, Onkyo, Marantz, um, they've all got their nine channel series and most of them are capable of doing the same 11 channel processing uh, with the addition of an external amplifier. And uh, I'll, post, uh, I'll post in the comments um, in, the in the description the, uh, the list of receivers that are capable of doing this so uh, you, can, uh, you can shop around for uh, the one that fits what you're trying to do. Uh, but anyways, um, like I said, you need a two-channel amplifier to get the last two channels uh, amplified because this was only capable of amplifying uh, uh, nine channels. So that's where this receiver comes in. Uh, we'll use this receiver just to amplify those last two channels. Uh, so how do you do that? Well, it's, it's pretty simple, but we're going to show you. We're going to flip these around and show you the backs of them, how we hook them up, and, um, and then we'll go into how to set those up electronically. So. Um, let's uh, flip these around and take a look. All right, so we've got the receivers flipped around. You can see the backs of them. I wanted to add something real quick on, on this receiver uh, that we're using as an external amplifier. Uh, it doesn't need to be seven channels. Anything above two channels uh, is gonna work for these purposes. All you need is an input uh, to come into the receiver and then uh, two channels to be amplified for this to work. All right, so here's the back of the X4300H. This is that nine channel receiver. Um, so you can see that I've got everything hooked up uh, as it normally is for, for the temporary setup we have uh, with, with one addition and that's this RCA cable that we're going to be using uh, to, uh, to show where you, how you would plug that up to um, get those last two channels for the 11 channel setup. Uh, but you can see here there are uh, 11 uh, actual audio hookups here at the bottom. Uh, it doesn't mean it's an 11 channel amp, it just means there are 11 different possibilities for uh, speakers that you can hook up. We've got the front, left, um, and right, and then we've got the center, surround, left and right. We've got surround back, left and right. Um, there's a height one, left and right, and then a height two, left and right. Uh, so the, the addition of the 11th one is just an option. So you could either run uh, your height two uh, 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 speakers or you can run your height one speakers. So a lot of times people will have different Atmos setups where either you have like front heights or you could have um, ceiling speakers. So that gives you the options to, to run one or the other um, or have uh, back at most speakers uh, without having the full 11 channel setup. So just because you have 11 audio hookups at the bottom doesn't mean it's an 11 channel amplify, amplifier, um, but um, it could be possible uh, to 
process 11 channels. Um, but anyways, uh, to, uh, to zoom in a little bit here, this is the, the main section that we're looking at for these last two channels to get processed. We've got this pre-out section um, this right here in the middle this says pre out uh, down here and then that's surrounded by a box and that includes all of your pre outs for uh, all 11 channels that this receiver is capable of processing uh, so it's, it's got the same um, same setup with the front uh, left and right the center it's got your uh, subwoofer one and two which we are using because you have to use the pre outs for the subwoofers uh, it's got your surround uh, left and right your surround back left and right your height left and right uh, sorry height one and then height two left and right uh, so for this setup, we're going to use the uh, height two, and uh, that's going to uh, give us the pre-out, which is just the signal portion uh, of the audio. And we're actually going to take that and run it to the other receiver um, and put that as an input into the other receiver. Uh, so that's, uh, that's this setup. The only thing that's different here um, than your normal 7.2.2 setup uh, would be the addition of this RCA cable. And that is going to the pre-out height two channel, like I was saying. And that can be that can be any of these channels you can dedicate um, to the last two channels that you want to use uh, your external amplifier or receiver with. But for me, I just chose to add the last two height channels uh, on the external receiver. All right, so this is the back of the S720 receiver that we have uh, that we're using as a uh, external amplifier. But you can see we've got the uh, RCA cable just coming around um, and it's plugged in here to one of the inputs. Uh, so if you zoom in, uh, you can see that these are just your audio in inputs. So you can choose any of these that you want. Uh, we're just bringing an audio signal in from that pre-out and, and putting it into this receiver. So right here we've got it as uh, cable sat, which is the number one uh, slot here left and right for the audio in. And these are all assignable in this in this receiver and we'll, uh, we'll show you how uh, that how to go through the uh, assignment of, of this channel for what we're trying to use it for. Um, so we'll go through that in a minute. Um, but uh, what's missing here, uh, what I don't have because of the temporary setup are the speaker cables. So what you would do from here is run your uh, front left and right channels um, here and here, and you would run speaker cable from this to the two speakers that you're adding for those last two height channels or whatever, uh, whatever two pre-outs you decide to use for this. Uh, just note that uh, whatever two you decide for the pre-outs, um, you, you wouldn't have that hooked up um, as a speaker out on the, uh, on the larger receiver. Um, so you would have that off of there and then onto here. Um, but anyways, like I said, the height two channel coming in to an audio in channel and then out through the front left and right speakers. So these uh, in my setup will go to and have gone to the, uh, the rear ceiling Atmos speakers uh, or the height two channels. Um, and that's how we've had it set up in the past and how we'll set it up in the future and when, when we get the addition. All right, so we've got the screen all set back up and uh, we have the setup menu for the Denon S720, which is the receiver that we're using as the external amplifier. So we've got that menu popped up. I wanted to go through some of the settings to make sure that, uh, that you have it right and uh, things will work like they're, they're supposed to. Uh, you wanna go through the, your menu items and make sure everything's are, uh, everything is set to default. Uh, you wanna go through your levels and distances and make sure there's no other um, calibration settings that uh, are saved in there. Um, but with that, I won't go through the details of all that, but uh, we'll go through the main thing here. After you have everything set to default, um, and uh, Odyssey items are turned off, uh, like your equalization, stuff like that. Um, you're gonna wanna go into your inputs uh, down here and uh, input assign. So this is where we're gonna assign the input. Uh, so here are your sources here on the left. Uh, I've renamed source one to pre-out. So this is the pre-out from the other receiver coming from that channel, and that's coming into our analog one input. Uh, so you can see if you just take this line it'll it's asking you which input you want to use for that source so we have it set uh, with with nothing except for the analog one uh, input so that's the RCA input that is uh, that is assigned to the source now so when you click on the source with your remote or your receiver it's going to know to use that analog one input um, so outside of that that's that's the basics of uh, making sure that it's set up like it's supposed to be 
Uh, the only other thing would be the, the volume on the receiver. So um, you don't really want to have the volume changing on this once you're using it as an external amp. So you're gonna wanna set it to some level and, uh, and leave it there. Uh, so in this case, I'm using, I think it's minus 15 dB. Uh, you can be somewhere around there, minus 20, uh, minus 10. Uh, you'll have to play around with it. Uh, if you run through the Odyssey calibration and it's, uh, it's adding too much or uh, taking too much away, you can sort of uh, adjust accordingly. Anyways, from here, we'll jump to the setup menu for the X4300 and, and show you what to have set for that. All right, so here's the X4300 receiver setup menu, uh, or in your case, it'll be whatever, whatever your larger nine channel receiver is. Um, but we're gonna go through and set this from, um, from what I have it currently set up as a nine channel receiver or you know, what, you, uh, what you might have it set up as and go to 11 channels with the extra height channels um, that are going to the other receiver through the pre outs. So we'll go into the speaker menu uh, here and then go into Odyssey setup. And uh, here you can see the current setup that I have uh, with the, the base channel, seven uh, base layer speakers that we have in that arrangement and then the two front height channels um, shown there. And we're gonna change that and we're gonna add two, height, two extra height channels. So we're gonna go into amp assign up here at the top and um, click that. Uh, it'll, it brings you into this menu. This menu, you're going to have this assigned mode. So first thing is gonna, uh, gonna be to change this nine channel setup into 11 channels. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, switch that over. So now I switched it to 11.1 channels, which, which is uh, just adding those two extra channels that are going through that free out to the other, um, the other receiver. And then we're gonna come down and, uh, and change, uh, change the height layout that's, that's shown here. So it's, uh, this is your height channels here. Uh, so we can go down, we're gonna change this height speaker setting to four. So we see when we did that, it went ahead and added these two height channels here. Um, and it's gonna just, uh, it's gonna pick those just randomly based on however you had it set up before, but uh, there's another setting below here where you can change the layout of the height channels that you have or that you want. Uh, so in this case, uh, I have the front heights and I want the, uh, the top rears to add uh, for my setup, how, how I like it. Um, but you can have, you know, whatever, whatever the setup you're going for, you can have uh, front and rear heights uh, you can have the top front and top rear all in the ceiling, or your top front in the ceiling and then your rear height channels, uh, your top middle and rear heights, uh, any, any number of different arrangements for those ceiling versus height channels. Um, but uh, back, to, back to the setup that I have and, and how I run it, um, you can see you've got the, the height channels in the front, left and right, and then these top rears in the ceiling. Uh, and you'll see that it's got, they're all labeled, or the two that we're adding are labeled with pre, and that is uh, symbolizing that they're gonna use the, the pre-out channels, or the, the pre-out signals um, to run those. So just note that it's not, it's not amplifying these natively. You need to run them through pre-out and, uh, and amplify them separately. So that's showing you uh, which ones are assigned to the pre-out channels. So we'll have that as height two, and um, here, it shows you which pre-outs are assigned to what, and you can switch that to top rears or your fronts or uh, any number of channels. So we're gonna keep that set on uh, the top rears because that's how we have it set up. All right, one, one other helpful uh, tool to have once you have everything set is to go into this view terminal config. Uh, it'll show you everything that you need to have as far as the setup goes. Uh, so it's, it's a good tool to help you verify that you've got all your connections right. Uh, so as it shows, it shows the speaker connections down here at the bottom, uh, you know, front, uh, right, left, center, all the way over. And it shows your front height, uh, left and right, which will be your height speakers up here. And then it shows the pre outs, which ones are, are used. And this is showing, it's got the top rear here all the way on the right. Um, and uh, showing that those are plugged in in the back and, and that's what's used uh, to go to your external amp or receiver. This is a, another helpful tool, uh, but as long as you verify those things are good, then you can go back and um, continue on with the uh, Odyssey calibration. But that's basically it. Uh, just have those, have those set and you want to come back into your menu 
and uh, then you would uh, rerun your um, your Odyssey setup, and that will go through uh, all of your uh, setup parameters. Make sure you go back into channel select, and you uh, make sure that it's measuring all the speakers that you want to measure. Uh, so in this case, the front height and the top rear that we just added, make sure those are set to measure. And then you can go through and do the uh, Odyssey calibration as you normally would. Uh, but that's it. Uh, like I said, once you set that up, you don't want to go back and uh, change the volume on the other receiver. You want to leave that set uh, where it was, unless you need to, um, unless you need to uh, change it a little bit to accommodate the uh, Odyssey setup, um, which we can we can go deeper into an Odyssey setup in another video. But uh, for this purposes, that's how you would set up a 11-channel um, setup with a 9-channel amp. Like I said, look in the description, you can find the, uh, the list of receivers that I know of that uh, are capable of doing this. Uh, you can save a lot of money once you jump into a receiver that can do both 11 channel processing and amplifying, uh, they get pretty expensive. So one way to save money is to be able to uh, just run a nine channel uh, amplifier, and I'm uh, sorry, a nine channel receiver that's capable of 11, 11 channel processing and then running you know, another, uh, another receiver with it. Usually, people are gonna have another receiver that they upgraded uh, from, uh, so they've already got that available, so you don't have to go out and buy an external amp uh, or anything like that. So, one way to save money, uh, keep, this, uh, keep this hobby from, from breaking the bank, so. Uh, that's, that's basically it, that's all we got for this. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. As usual, if you enjoyed the content, uh, hit a like and subscribe. Share it, and I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed. God bless.